Hello again and welcome to N-Scale High Rail. Just a quick project today on our second episode. Uh, I've been working on restoring my Western Maryland roundhouse. And we're going to catch you up to date on how that's been going. So I'm working on restoring my uh, Western Maryland roundhouse. It was on my layout back when I had a, a big Western Maryland themed N-scale railroad. Uh, it's now on a module. I recently purchased this module and uh, it had a turntable already in it that's all wired up. Uh, I had to add the fan tracks and whatnot. Uh, but I'm going to have to store it until I have a place to actually set up a layout again. So uh, in order to make sure it's stored securely, uh, I want to make sure that I have the building securely attached to the, the module top. And I'm going to show you a little trick I've discovered um, that will help me not only secure the building for storage, but also keep the roof accessible so that I can get in there at a future time to work on, you know, wiring, lighting, and and those sorts of things into the and detailing the interior of the roundhouse. And what you're looking at here are my secret weapons. I picked up these magnets at uh, a craft store. You know, they're simple, flexible magnets. Uh, I used earth magnets to hold a roof on on another module, uh, but I couldn't find them right off the bat. You can uh, order them online. Uh, they're out there, you can get them, but these will work just fine for this purpose. The other part of the equation is this screw. Let me show you how it works. Okay, first, I drill a little pilot hole very carefully. As you can see, it it's tricky to work with a model. And then next we'll put the screw down into the pilot hole. And this works out really well. I'm going to go back and repair the plastic bits here that I've busted loose. But that'll take care of that. And then the trick is to run the screw down. And I've set it here behind that brick pilaster so that it's not real obvious. And then you just have to get the screw head down just to the right level so that you can put the magnet on it. Put the magnet right there. And then you can check your level. I've got to do a little gluing there. Looks like I'll need to back it out just a wee bit. And then the magnet's about flush with the top of the wall there. Okay, now I've put the second set screw in. I'll put the second magnet in there, and like that. Now I use my, my favorite all-purpose adhesive, my E6000, available at all of your favorite retailers. And I just put a little blob of glue on the top of the magnet. Like so. Pull out a little bit of the flash there. And then once that's in place, I take the section of roof that I built and I'll set it in place. Put it down here right on top of those magnets. And then once you've got it into position, you take a little something to give it some ballast to let the glue set securely on the magnet. Uh, my preference is pepper peach jam, recently made from our very own garden. And then you put the other side on, balance that. And then you give it a little bit for the glue to cure to the point where you can check it out. We're over here at the other side of the roundhouse now on the section that I did earlier. And as you can see, the magnets adhere nicely to the, to the rooftop. The screws are in there to give them a good position. And when I go to flip this up to do wiring underneath or to put it into a crate and put it in our storage trailer, uh, everything should stay reasonably in position. So there you have it. For the time being, it'll make uh, doing interior photography a tad awkward. 
Uh, however, uh, once I have everything done satisfactorily inside the roundhouse, I can just back the screws out and replace them with a short screw that goes into the floor itself and uh, then I can more permanently affix the roof. Although I may not do that. Uh, I used a, a neutral colored screw, they're just deck framing screws and uh, they disappear pretty nicely. So anyway, that's your pro tip for the night and uh, happy high railing.